My name is Jay Burney. I'm at the Bell Slip on Buffalo's Outer Harbor. The public has spent millions of dollars to restore habitat here, and it's really working. This area behind me is an emerging copse of cottonwood trees, and there's a sand dune habitat that comes from old dredge from the old Bell Slip, and it's brought with it a seed bank of plants that you don't see anywhere in the Great Lakes anymore. It's such an important place we need to protect it, preserve it, and make sure that this is available for generations to come. Buffalo's Outer Harbor is one of the rare green jewels in the entire Great Lakes. Its proximity to urban Buffalo and Lake Erie, the Niagara River, and the Buffalo River really make it a unique place. Reclaimed land has transformed into rare and unusual habitats that support many kinds of wildlife and native plants, including grasslands, shorelines, and canopies of mixed forest and shrubs. Here at the Bell Slip, we find a very unusual habitat, a sand barren. It only covers a couple of acres, but what an important couple of acres it is. One of the many unusual plants that we have at the Bell Slip sand barrens is this one, spotted bee balm. Once it was much more abundant along the shorelines, but now it's nearly vanished. This beautiful native plant and the sand barren habitat is associated with a vanishing and endangered species, the Carner Blue Butterfly. Today, a small population of the Carner Blue has survived in Albany, New York at the Albany Pine Bush. Spotted bee balm has practically vanished from the Great Lakes, but we have it on our outer harbor at the Bell Slip. We need to save this valuable and vanishing habitat. <laughs>